You got hustled, Lori. I did not get the hustled. Buyback, the it's buyback? Because the buyback was ridiculous. No, she didn't agree to the buyback. Yes, she did. You agreed four to times, the buyback? Four times. Lori, he outcharged you on company. that one. That's his company. No, he didn't. That's his company, and he has the right to have the major he, stake in After you've taken all it, the it, risk? It, it, you ever see this show? To show you how smart I was, I thought it was going to go nowhere. I thought it was a stupid idea. It's a huge hit. And Shark Tank now is a draw for anyone trying to get sort of funding and, and, and off the mat. They might be the only ones, though, who are looking for this sort of thing because money for startups is way down. Venture capital diving by a third in the last quarter. But Shark Tank star Lori Grenier is still back in entrepreneurs. And you were telling me, Lori, I was always curious about that, that uh, you and Cuban and some of the others, it's your money up there to, to, to put up for, for the most promising entrepreneurial idea you hear, right? Yes, it's the real deal. It is our own money that we are investing. All right. Um, so you've got the money on the line, and right. this is an environment where we're told that a lot of startups, are, it's tough to get money. So what do you look for? Well, I look for three things. One, I look for a great product or business idea. And I joke, I say, but it's serious. I can tell instantly if it's a hero or a zero. How do you know that fast? Because you come across it like, a lightning quick reaction, and I wouldn't know that. I mean, maybe if someone were to show me years ago Apple was you know, pushing this iPod thing, I would have said, this is stupid. Well, years of experience. Then again, I read a prompter for a living. But I mean, what, what, what do you see, Lori? Well, years of experience. I've been doing this for 15 years. I've created over 400 successful products. I have a pulse for what people want. And I look for things like, is it mass appeal? Are people going to enjoy, buy, like, use this? You know, there's many things you have to look at as criteria. I even created an app called the Hero or Zero, which is a free app to help people. Well, you also look for qualities, right? Some I do. I, well, I'll look for, is it a good product or a good business? Is it something people need? And then the third thing that is important to me is the person. If that person is somebody who I don't think has the wherewithal to really drive a business, I'm not going to invest I'm in I'm not going to give away names. Sometimes when I see some of these guys who come on, particularly with you, because you're, you're like the Grand Inquisitor, uh, <laughs> they look like Ralph Cramden, a Korean Apple thing. You're too young. <laughs> but like so nervous and so frightened that they just want to leave. And uh, it's all right. You can keep the money. I don't want to... Um, do you look at that, too? Do you, is a part of you measure, all right, the guy's nervous, or he's not a people person, or he's just a wonk who's into what he's doing, or maybe has people who can help him get to the next level? Well, How big is the personality? I think a wonk, that's not going to be good. I think that if there's somebody who has passion, drive, and dedication, they don't have to be a salesperson. Not everybody has that in them. Somebody else could do that. But you do look a little bit for a smooth talker. Well, I look for somebody who comes across like they're dedicated and passionate. Do you apply that driven. to candidates for president? Uh, <laughs> yes. You do? Yes, I do. Dedicated, passionate, driven. Anyone you prefer? I, n no, I prefer somebody who is going to do what's right for our country and right for the people. Barack Obama, Mitt Romney. They're both wonks, you know. Hey. <laughs> they don't know they are, right? Well, I'm not sure what a wonk is. <laughs> uh, a nerd. A nerd. Oh, I don't like that. Really? No, no. Nobody's. You're talking to a nerd right no, now, I'm but not. that's okay. It's no, okay. I'm not coming I... on your show. Um, no, but in the end, why do you think businesses do have such a tough time getting money? I think businesses have a hard time getting money because people don't want to give up their money right now. In hard yeah. times, people. Even the most compelling risks. case, when they could make big pay dirt on. I always think that the first person who funded Michael Dell, the first person who lent money to Bill Gates or whatever. Um, Zuckerberg. I mean, hey, someone is missing these big opportunities. You don't, you're getting into the ground floor. Right? Well, I, well, as many times as somebody may hit big pay dirt, somebody may also fall in the mud. So there's never a guarantee, right? If we had a crystal ball. What was ball, your biggest bomb? My biggest bomb ever that was someone else's? Yeah, that you invested in someone who just ended up being a total loser. Oh, uh, well. You don't have to give the specific, but. Yeah. Um, I don't want to say because I don't want to hurt that person down the road, but it was something that I thought I'd give a chance to, and it just wound up not being a home run. Really? Um, you and the others, like uh, Mark Cuban has been here many, many times. He is, he's a very funny guy, very animated guy, but he does have an ego like the Chrysler building, which is fine. <laughs> um, does that play into this, like you guys like dislike each other? Is there creative tension between you, or how would you describe it? Well, I like Mark a lot. So do I. So I do think I. that um, we definitely knock heads. Uh, 
script, I think Friday night, Mark and I knock heads really big. It, is any of it scripted? Is it it's not scripted. Right, so it's going off the... Uh... It's not scripted at all, and I think Mark challenges me because I have a, a lot of power in the room because I can do things and get the entrepreneur's places that he doesn't have some experience. Well, how in. many apply to get on the show? Because oh, you're right, there's a, there's a lack of funding out there for startups. What's the acceptance ratio just getting on the show among your applicants? Well, I heard there were 35,000 applicants for season four alone. So, is that so? Yes, that is a lot of applicants. Hard to even get through them. But once they get in the door, then back to Mark. Uh, Mark is a great guy, but I've heard him say he loves to spar with me. I've read that he said that I'm his biggest competition. And I like a good fight, so I like sparring back with him. And then at the end of the day, you know, we can sit down and joke. And No, it does seem like there's all a good creative tension. I like it. I, 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 th I get a kick out of it. I, I'm also shocked. It is all unscripted. All Which unscripted. I admire, because that's me. I'm unscripted. Yes. Okay, that'll do it for this. Thank you very much. Move the prompter up a little bit. All right. <laughs>